Greetings again, and welcome back to more A Bug's Life. Alright, we are going to build a bird. A bird that we can operate from the inside, which would then, then be hoisted, be hoisted above, hoisted above the anthill and hidden high in the tree. Then, right when Hopper and his gang are below, we launch the bird and scare off the grass of grass of Again, incredibly dramatic. Clover Forest is one of my most favorite stages. It's very peaceful and it has awesome music, so nothing better. It's not so much the stage actually is difficult, it's just that there's a lot to do. We've got plenty of seats to move around, some few or a few tricky jumps, not that many. And you will also see one skip in the sense of how to easily get one of the tokens. But that day that's sorrow. Oh, minute, pretty much. <laughs> Either way, you need both seats here. It's not so much to make it up, it is more or less that you need to move them around. However, we will not be doing that just yet. I think I haven't watched this in a, quite a few days now. <laughs> That's terrible. Either way, the general policy here is to collect all the grain until you have 46. So that once you have that, you will be able to know exactly where the last four is. And so I suggest you do it the way I do it, but if you have a different idea, that up to you pretty much. It's just a safety measure so that you don't miss them and will have to spend hours and hours looking around. But first of all upgrade your red berry to blue, then you use the propeller here to move the seats around. We'll basically need that to get the letters, otherwise there's n really no reason in doing that, except for well, one time where you have to make it to the top, but it's, that's about it, really. And I accidentally jumped into that. Either way, keep collecting, because there is a lot to get. So about this point you have 25, and we're halfway there. Now you're going to see a skip how, as to how you can get this blue token without using a seed. I'm pretty sure you can make the skip earlier, but the timing on that job seems to be a bit more accurate. So you simply go up here, jump here, and you have to make that double jump. Or, well that's just my general idea, I haven't tried doing it without. But it's basically because the double jump allows you probably three or so frames extra in hang time, so basically that's why you're able to make it. Right over here, there was another token, so we can get a shield. I don't do that here, I don't know why. I spend my time thinking about other things or something. Now these leaf jumps are a bit tricky in the sense that you will pretty much glide down if you're not jumping shortly after. Of course it depends on how you land on it, but most of the time I've tried it as a kid I always fell off, so... <laughs> oh, that's some shit. Either way, we have 40 now, and we basically know now where the next 6 are, simply because I didn't collect them. So either way, you need the two seeds that you find here, and you need to bring them to the top. Or just upwards here. Now these are not too tricky to make, but there will be one later that is... It's not necessarily tricky, but it, it's one of those where you're more... You tend to fuck up on that one more than you do with the others. So put your leaf and mushroom here, and now you have the propeller. Now all the letters are in high to reach spots, so you basically need the propeller in order to make it. And since we already have two seats up, we can only 
change one of them. And so we will still be able to make it. But of course to complete this stage you need to have the full upgrade which is the cannon. I'm not sure what exactly the game calls the, that one in English so... Gonna have to do without that. Either way, that's one half of the spots. The basic thing about this is that it's all divided into sections as to where you can find everything. So basically put a propeller here, use that seat, and then get that one up there. Okay. Now you need three more grain before you have 46, and those you find up here. Or, now you find one of them. Then the last two is in a... yeah, it's a different spot, you'll see that pretty soon. Either way, you need two seeds here. Is I don't know what I'm doing with my life right here. Oh yeah, I couldn't find the letter there, so I had to look around for it. But it's it pretty much should be simple enough to know, but of course if you can't see it there, you're going to think that it's not there. I don't know how much sense that makes, but that's the truth as it is, or stands, pretty much. He says something about cannon and then flip, but I'm not confident that that it's actually its name. <laughs> but it's gonna do without that. So now basically that you have this seed up there, you will get the I letter. The K letter is a bit more tricky as you need the cannon in order to get it. Of course I didn't realize that at first, but... Well, that happens. I hadn't played this stage in a long time too, so... Certain things tend to be forgotten. And I don't know what I'm doing with that. Either way, I think the game developer's original intention with getting the K-letter was using a propeller to get the seed up there, and then using that seed to use as a cannon, basically. However, you can do it a little simple. It's a specific frame that you can place it on, but it's not too hard to pull off. And now you're basically going to wit witness my idiot brain at work. Now I didn't think of this at that time, but I'm not sure if you're ever able to make it with the propel, or if it's ever possible. It just didn't seem like that. So, I decided to leave that for now and simply go after the final grain that we need, as well as the F letter. It's quite simple to get, so it's not a big problem. Okay, so you will be needing a seat down here eventually, so you may a, you might as well place it down here. But of course, I didn't remember that there already was one. So I ended up wasting even more time. But either way, you have 46 now, so the last 4 is only in one place now, so... And it's up on that big tree stump right there, so... You'll be able to know exactly where it is without missing anything. But first of all, we need the last upgrade so that we have the cannon because of course you can't do anything without it. And there I was too close to the propeller, and that's usually a problem. If you're too close to it, it just won't work. So get your brain adjusted to that. Now you really only need the flower here, but of course I didn't think of that at, the f at first, <laughs> so... I screw up too much on this, but it's fine I guess. 
I really don't think I will, would be able to cut down too much time either, even if I tried, so... Basically now is when you want the... or have use of the propeller. Well, you've already said that. I am not too... I think I'm a little too far away, if that makes sense. He's away. Now is the correct use of the propeller. Of course, uh, I'm pretty certain you can make it in many other spots. I just felt more confident with that one. So, you can always experiment with that if, if, if that's what you want to do, I guess. So, you get your seat up there. And you can even do this when you have the propeller. I just decided to do this to be a smart ass. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of how computers work these days. It has to be overly... Overly crazy and good looking. And we don't care that it has long loading times. Fuck that. Step right up. And now for Manny the Magnificent. From the most mysterious reaches of uncharted Asia, I give you... The Chamber of Metamorphosis. Gypsy, my dear, I require your assistance. Transformation, transformation, transformation. The mystery awaits. So in case you haven't realized this yet, this is post-commentary. It worked out fine the last time, but I failed to realize that stage was really only a boss battle. <laughs> and now that I'm sitting here doing this, I will go back to live commentary, basically. It seems a lot easier to do, depending on what I'm really supposed to do in a stage, I guess, so... Get used to that, pretty much. Either way... That does it for the letter deal, and now we need to get the final four grain. And like I said, you find it up here, along with one of the pieces. And that was 48 and 50. And full health. Let's see if we can actually keep it for a change. Otherwise, I will be very sad. <laughs> Now, you probably noticed the gold berry a few times, and if you didn't, it's right over here. Now, that bee can actually get in your way, and he has done that before as well. But it shouldn't be a problem. Or I hope so, he wouldn't. So, this is basically where I divide the enemy numbers into sections. Down here is one section. And then over, that only has two enemies. This is another section, and it only has one enemy. But of course, if you'd rather run around and kill them at random, that's completely up to you. This is just an easier way for me to manage what is basically going on and how much have we done. Now, from the tree, and before you pass it, is another area or another section, and each of those spots where you climb up is a section in itself, so... That's basically the way that I do it. Uh, what am I thinking? I'm pretty much not thinking at the moment. Things tend to do that, but that's the way it is. This just proves why I should rather do live commentary instead. It's pretty much why it's easier to pull off, I guess. And we snipe him. Now that we're halfway there, we are pretty much we are pretty much done either way. So now this section alone has three enemies. That is, of course, if I I think I got the other one. Okay. Now up there is a section in itself, and anything that comes after the tree is a section, so... 
It's not that I keep track of the amount of enemies, but I keep track of it in the smaller sections since there's not a whole lot to be aware of there. And that seat is portable in case you weren't too sure. But of course now you know. The more you know, as they say. Okay, that makes it free enemies now. There was one up here. A little tricky to pull off sometimes, it all depends on how he decides to react. And then the final enemies are down here. Mosquito and ant. That almost sounds too bad. <laughs> and we're done. Hey, you need a hand, kid? Hey, you! Overmuscled ladybug? Here, use the stick! Unhand me! There you go! Eureka! And that is pretty much all for today, take care, peace out, see you next time.